Hello and welcome to another Miniature Realms video. My name is Stuart. I thought I'd do a series of videos where I start to show some of the techniques I use for painting certain things and a lot of those will be around weathering and effects, um, anything that fits into little short videos rather than full painting tutorials. Um, and today I'm just going to show you how I apply decals or water slide transfers to miniatures. So we talk you through what I've got here. So the tools I use, um, I use Microscale Industries, Microset and Microsol. So the Microset is a setting solution and there's other companies make them as well. I know Vallejo do one and there's probably plenty of others out there, but these are the ones I use. The setting solution kind of softens the decal and helps it adhere to the miniature itself. And then the Microsol is also a setting solution, but it's one that's designed to soften it and help it conform to the surface, especially if you're applying a decal over a curved surface or over a ridge or something like that. Um, I always use both, even if it's a flat surface, because basically the, the Microsol almost feels like it blends or melts the, the decal in, so it looks like it's painted on um, rather than a sticker over the top. Now, sometimes that's hard to achieve, sometimes it doesn't always come off 100% but this stuff is pretty good and I've been using it for years with no complaints. Um, then I have something to put my decals in. Um, there's a reason I've got this little plastic thing here today partly because it's um, small and easy to get in shot um, but it'll do the job. So anything you can hold a tiny little bit of water so a plate will often be useful and then what I tend to do is use a small piece of kitchen roll as well um, it stops the decals floating around quite as much. It's not essential, depends how much water you use, but I prefer to use that. I use a sharp modelling blade to help me drag the decal around, some tweezers and an old paintbrush. And then of course the most important things, your decals themselves, the water slide transfers and a miniature. Um, prepping the miniature, um, I think you should always, um, or at least where possible, add a gloss varnish to your miniature before you apply a decal. Now this may not be something you want to do if you were say putting a small badge on the shoulder of an infantryman. You don't want to spray your whole model gloss because you'll have to then spray matte down afterwards. Um, it works very well on armour and trucks and tanks and things, especially the way I paint because I'll be using a lot of oil washes which mattes down anyway and then I'll very likely to add a matte wash after those, uh, sorry a matte varnish after those things. So if you are doing a miniature where you don't want to be too glossy, um, you can try and do it without. The other thing you can do is just with a paintbrush, just paint on a small bit of gloss varnish in the area you're going to paint the decal. And then afterwards, if there's any shiny area showing, you can always just paint a little bit of matte there rather than requiring you to matte varnish over the whole thing. A lot of people matte varnish their models at the end anyway, so that may well solve the problem there. But just, just bear that in mind. The reason I use them, use um, gloss varnish is, is twofold really when I'm doing trucks and tanks and things is where you apply most of your decals is to protect the miniature for the the next stages of weathering and oil washes and things and also because it makes a fantastic smooth surface for the decal to adhere to if you try to put a decal on a porous surface you'll never go quite as flat and it won't adhere as well and you won't get that nice blended in painted look right so what i need to do now is choose which decals i'm going to use um, this is for my British 8th Army bolt action force. So I'm going to use the two Desert Rats um, um, decal things there. And I know on the previous truck I painted, I'm used those two seal numbers. So I'm going to use the next two. Now, historians out there, I'm new to the World War II period. So they may not be the right things to go on, but I'm going for it anyway, I'm going to do it. So I use the sharp blade to cut out the decals they want. Now some decals you will find that they are individual decals with on the sheet. And what I mean by that is, is that they're already separated. Whereas some other decal sheets, it's one big printed sheet. And if you were to place the whole thing in the water, you'd have one big sheet with all the pictures on. So you do need to have a little look closely first. Um, and if they are one big sheet, you need to want to get as close to the edge of the decals as possible. These ones, I remember from memory, you might not be able to see it on the camera. You can just see the edge of the decal around the printed colour bit as well, so they do become separate ones. So I also want these two Desert Rats symbols there. And there we go. And that's all I want for this particular tank. Next thing I'm going to do is put some water in my little tray. 
and then I'm going to place the decals on. What I tend to do to stop them curling up is place them face down first then after a moment flick them over. Careful not to uh, rip the towel. I mean, it doesn't matter if you rip the towel but you start making a mess of it. It gets a little bit trickier. I'm doing this a little bit further away than I would normally because I have a camera in the way. So there we have the decals there. Now to leave them a couple of minutes before they become loose and you can test them with the end of your paintbrush. There you go, that, they're already coming loose there now. So they'll just about be ready to go. So the next stage then will be placing them on the miniature itself. Okay, so now we have the miniature. Next thing I'm going to do is you get some of my micro set on my paintbrush. I want to place that where I want to place the decal. So I've got a little bit there already. Dry my brush slightly on the edge of some paper towel. And then this is the tricky part. Now you've got to find your method for doing this. But it's picking up the decal. You could end up chasing it around the pad. That's partly why I use the kitchen roll. Otherwise I find I end up chasing it around for ages. I get it on the end of the brush and then using a bit of a twisting motion, get it onto the side of the truck. And then with the sharp end of my brush, I'll move it in place. Now what you'll see there, it's floating around on the setting solution. Now there's one thing that I didn't mention at the beginning, cotton buds or Q-tips, I believe, if you're in the, the US. You just want to dab away some of the excess. Not too much to start with, because you still want to be able to position your decal. And then I just gently dab and roll it over, take, take away the excess. So while that's drying, I'm going to come along to the next one. And this is going to be a little bit harder to show you now. These, when you, when you have a decal that's longer, um, when you try to remove it on the brush the way I did for the first one, you can often find that it just curls up and tries to run away. So what I'm going to do here is try and lift up the whole bit of paper I've cut and then slide the decal off. That's in the wrong place at the moment. But that doesn't matter because now I've got it flat on the truck itself. I can slide it into position. Now I did put some of the micro set on there before I started the camera there. Okay, same as before, take away the excess, make sure it's set into place. And then you leave that for a couple of minutes as well. And there we go. So I've left that a few minutes. Um, if I'm doing lots, I'll try and maybe even leave it up to an hour, but it's not that important. As soon as it's uh, dry enough to the eye, to the surface, the, the gloss you can see here is the gloss varnish. Is I go in and there and use the microsole. And all you're doing is you're just sploshing some over the top fairly liberally. Um, and just let that evaporate away. And as that dries, that will melt and blend in the edges of the decal itself and um, yeah, hopefully make it look like it's painted on. Sometimes you might need a second pass of this, especially if the decal is pretty thick. Um, if you're a Warhammer 40,000 or Horus Heresy player, the, the decal sheets that the Forge World and Games Workshop do are absolutely fantastic. There's some of the, the really detailed colour ones for the um, Space Marine Legions, some of them are quite thick. Um, just because of the amount of detail, then they've got multiple layers of gold and things like that. And you may need a couple of passes on these for very small decals like these in military kits. Um, I tend to find that one is usually enough. But you can see the edge of that decal there. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. Um, I'm just going to splash that over. And this stuff is the consistency of water. Um, and then that'll be it. Now you do want to protect it again after that. So you can uh, peel, um, they can peel off quite easily. Um, so a, another coat of gloss varnish before you go ahead and do any oils or weathering and thing is, is required. Something else you can do, and I won't be able to show you right now because it's still drying, is that if you want to make it look like that the, it, the paint is chipped or the, the emblem is marked or something, you can go in with a, a blade very, very gently before you put the, the sealant coat on of gloss varnish and just chip away a bit away and scrape it off when it's fully dry. It does have to be fully dry and it'll look like that it's been worn away or something as well. So little effects you can do as well before you do other weathering. 
but that's it that's done nice little short tutorial for you there hopefully if you've never put decals on before um, you find that useful that's probably not the only way of doing it it's just the way i do it i've been doing it for a number of years and, and it's been very very successful if you do it different ways or use other products you think are even better love to hear in the comments below but thanks very much for watching please do like share and subscribe and all of that jazz and i'll catch you soon